What's up guys, it's Argon657 here. Today I bring you another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. This battle is going to be against Wyatt, Irish Emerald, and Asuna. Irish Emerald's channel will be in the description below. Um, this is a free-for-all battle, and uh, yeah, this was a fun battle though. So, um, they're going to lead off with uh, Tyranitar and Scrafty, and Asuna and I are going to lead off with Incineroar and Garboder. Um, so yeah, uh, the sand stream's gonna go up, um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up some spikes, and, um, cause that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, um, the incineroar is gonna go for the stone edge, and, uh, it's gonna bring the incineroar all the way down to the focus ash, and I'm gonna go for one layer of toxic spikes, so that's pretty good though, so, um, He's going to uh, go for the cross chop, and um, it's going to take out the Tyranitar, so that critical hit did not matter at all. So, um, everything's looking pretty good so far. So, um, he's going to go for the knockoff and get rid of my Rocky Helmet, but he's going to get hurt with the Rocky Helmet damage uh, before he gets rid of the Rocky Helmet. So, in Sonora, unfortunately, he's going to get knocked out by the Sandstorm damage, and... Um, yeah, I wonder what kind of uh, Scrafty this might be. Um, he could be um, a Dragon Dance set, possibly, because I don't see leftovers. Um, he's going to go to his Salamence. Um, uh, Wyatt's going to go to uh, Salamence. And, um, and as soon as going to go into Mega Lucario. And, uh, Salamence is going to go for the Flamethrower. And, um, Lucario just barely lives with 5 HP. So, Lucario is going to go for the Aura Sphere on the Scrafty. It's not going to be enough to take out the Scrafty. And I go for the Gunk Shot, and unfortunately I miss. So, that really sucks though, because I was going to go for the Gunk Shot, and I would have gotten some damage off of the, um, Salamence, even with the Intimidate. And I would have also gotten a chance of uh, poison uh, from the Salamence. So he's going to go for the flamethrower and finish me off. So that's fine. Garbodor's uh, pretty much useless anyway. Um, this is a free fall battle. So the Scrafty is going to go for the Ice Punch on the Salamence. Um, all Garbodor uh, had to do was set up spikes and stuff and toxic spikes. So... Um, that was pretty much Garboder's main purpose. So I'm going to go into my uh, Mega Pidgeot over here. And uh, since I'll have no guard, I can just spam Hurricane all day long. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for the Hurricane on the Charizard. Um, because Charizard is a much bigger threat. Um, it's going to be Mega Charizard X. So... Um, it's not that big of a deal because Lucario can just go for the extreme speed and get some damage off the Charizard. I can go for the Hurricane and possibly get a Confusion. Um, or I can knock out the Charizard in one hit, so that's really good. Um, Scrafty's going to go for the Drain Punch on my uh, Mega Pidgeot. He could have went for the Ice Punch just to get the super effective damage, but. Um, but yeah, he's going to. Uh, get hit with the Sandstorm, and so is my Mega Pidgeot. Uh, Lucario's gonna go for the Extreme Speed, and, um, I'm gonna go for the Hurricane, and take out the Scrafty, so that's really good, though. Um, so yeah, Scrafty's gone. Um, the Sandstorm is going to subside, so now he's gonna go into, uh, Mega Manectric over here. Um, and then, um, I'm pretty much going to go for the Hurricane over here, because uh, I want to get as much damage as I can on the um, uh, Mega Manectric. So, uh, basically, um, he's going to get the Intimidate, of course, and then the thing is, because of the Poison, it'll help take out the um, uh, Mega Manectric. So, um, he's going to end up taking out my Mega Pidgeot. And, um, he's gonna get hurt with the poison, and I'm gonna go into my Greninja over here. And this is my Ash Greninja over here. Um, he's gonna go for the extreme speed, 
I'm gonna go for the water shuriken. I'm hoping I hit enough times where I can knock out the um, uh, Mega Manectric, and I do. So I do get the um, I do get the um, Ash Greninja boost. So I'm gonna transform into Ash Greninja. So um, so that way I could just go for water shuriken. This is a choice specs um, Greninja. Now um, he's gonna go to his Togekiss. And um, since it's a free for all battle, I'm just going to go for the Water Shuriken on the Mega Lucario and knock him out, even though I could have went for the Water Shuriken on the uh, Togekiss. Um, but he's going to go for the Dazzling Gleam and it's going to take out my Greninja in one hit, which I was kind of hoping that I would maybe live one. But Togekiss uh, with Dazzling Gleam and stuff like that, um, I didn't really expect it to take me out in one hit. So. Uh, now, Salamence is going to come out, and Salamence is going to go for the fly, and um, I was thinking maybe he could have went for the Supersonic Sky Strike on the, um, the Togekiss, because as you can see, um, I mean, I don't think Supersonic Sky Strike would have been enough to take out the Togekiss from that range based on that damage with the uh, fly, um, so yeah, um, Salamence is going to go for the fly again, and then Togekiss is going to miss the Dazzling Gleam, and then, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so Salamence is going to go for the fly, and it's not going to be enough to take out the Togekiss, and Togekiss is going to be able to take out the Salamence with a Dazzling Gleam, and that was a, a pretty close battle, though, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment below, Leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and um, I will see you guys later.